Hypixel Skyblock. A game that has changed the meaning of Skyblock in Minecraft, and a game that has helped the, the game gain even more worldwide fame. This video will explain the basics and where to begin in the massive world of Hypixel Skyblock. This is the first of four videos that will be coming out in this series. At first looks, this game may seem very confusing, because it is. This video though, will be explaining the basics of Minecraft, Hypixel, Skyblock, and how to fit in with a casual new player. If you follow this guide, you will go from having nothing and being eternally stuck on your miniature island, to having a full armor set and thousands of coins. This is the complete guide to Minecraft, Hypixel, Skyblock. Before we begin our journey into the world of Skyblock, we have to go over a few things so, so that you understand the rest of this video, and the rest of Skyblock. These are the most important parts in Hypixel Skyblock. Collections. Collections are pretty simple, to be completely honest. There is a collection for every obtainable slash not illegal resource in the game. This includes sand, rotten flesh, leaves, potatoes, carrots, etc. Collections unlock recipes for stronger armor and items the more of that resource you have. The more resources you have collected in total, the more recipes and items you will unlock. If you still do not understand what a collection is, that's completely fine, because you will understand by the end of this video. Skills Skills can be complicated, and so I'll be breaking it down for you to more easily understand it. There is a skill for each separate type of gameplay in Skyblock, including enchanting, combat, mining, etc. Each skill has 50 levels, 60 now, but that's for hardcore players, so we won't be talking about that. Every level you earn, the skills required experience goes up, and you earn small rewards that can stack up after a while, such as strength or health. There are numerous ways to level up skills, but the most common is hours of grinding. Still with me? If not, I'll have each explanation of the most important subjects in Skyblock down below in the description. Now let's continue. Minions if you have ever played on another Skyblock server before, you may already have an idea of what a minion is, but if you haven't, then I would recommend listening to the next few seconds. Minions are one of the most important early game and mid game items. There are minions for nearly every resource in the game. Minions collect materials while you're on or offline, which makes them the quickest way to earn millions of resources for a large collection gathering. Once placed on your island, they will instantly begin working. Each minion has its own cooldown depending on the level and type of minion it is. To level up minions, it will cost from 100 to millions of that type of material condensed into a smaller form known as enchanted items. I'll get into enchanted items another time, but for now you don't need to focus on them. The higher the level of the minion, the more stored items it will be able to keep in its inventory, and the less amount of time each cooldown takes. Stats Stats in a Hypixel Skyblock are a massive part of the game, and may be confusing when starting, and so I will be giving you a basic breakdown of it. There are 14 basic types of stats, but we're only going to be talking about health, defense, and strength today. Health is how much health you have before you die. Defense is how much health is actually taken when damaged by an opponent or a mob. This means the higher amount of defense you have, the less amount of damage you'll actually take when being damaged. Strength is how much damage you deal, so the more strength you have, the more damage you will accumulate on hit. Skyblock Crystal The Skyblock Crystal is a huge part of Skyblock, and you will most likely use it at least 30 times while playing for long periods of time. This item will spawn in your inventory at the far right slot or the ninth slot. This item is another star and is not able to be moved for any reason. At first you may be thinking that this is a waste of space in your inventory, but that is completely wrong. The Skyblock Crystal is used to teleport to every island and location there is. You'll have to buy warp slash teleportation later in the game for this to work. The crystal opens up a menu that will give you access to your skill levels, collections, recipes, and a crafting table, and so much more. All you have to do to open the crystal is click left or right click while slot 9 is equipped in your hotbar. The Auction House Auction House is a place where players can buy and sell items. There's not really much to it except that people use it to buy and sell items. Items can either be buy it now or a bidding war between multiple players wanting the one item. This building is in the Skyblock Hub, which I will get into in a minute. Those are the basic things you'll need before we start. If you don't understand completely and want to rewatch or read the explanations for yourself, you can go check out the description for every explanation I just made. The Complete Beginner's Guide to Hypixel Skyblock. 
Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, then subscribing isn't always an option. It's completely free and I really want to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So please just check if you are.